Do you think it's normal to have a clunking noise when changing gears? The answer is clearly no. Watch this video until the end to have the solution to your problem. But before sharing the installation of this LOF Clutches Extreme Spec MT82 Output Shaft Kit, I want to make a shout out to all of you who are supporting my work by watching my videos and interacting by commenting or liking. Thank you very much. I just want to let you know that by doing this it helps me a lot, but what would help me even more is if you could also subscribe. Yes, I see it in the analytics. Almost 70% of you aren't yet subscribed to the channel. So go on, hit that sub button and turn on the bell to be informed every time I post a new video. Okay, I won't let you wait longer. Here's the install. Alors, je te demanderai juste, ce sera de me baisser un peu le verrin gentiment. Pas forcément énorme, mais ça peut suffire à passer la cloche. Tu vois. Base dessus. Ok. Allez, allez, allez. J'étais resté sur 2,7 litres dans ma tête parce non, que je crois que j'ai mis les 3 non, seringues. Non, non, c'est 2,4. C'est un chier là pour le joint spin. <coughs> ah, on voit bien la pièce. C'est lui qui a rempli d'huile de boîte, non j'ai l'impression que ça a dû fuir par le centre, euh, par ouais, ton ouais. écou. Euh... C'est ce qui les a Ashcroft en fait. En fait, le, le, le système c'est que ça, c'est lubrifié. Mais par contre, il euh, y a quand même vachement d'huile qui, qui se barre. Bah, normalement, ça devrait pas parce que là, t'es étanche ouais, ici. Exactement. Mais, euh... Non, franchement, c'est pas mal l'idée. C'est pas mal. Ça fuit bien par là. Pas hein. photo. Ouais. Par contre, toi, ta pièce, c'est quand même vraiment de belle manufacture. Ouais, euh, elle est pas. Ouais. C'était pas bête hein, ce montage au final. Je comprends mieux maintenant. Toi. Au début, je m'attendais. Enfin, mmh. je sais pas trop exactement ce qu'on allait avoir. Et puis, ouais. Mais ça en général c'est collé donc ça faut l'arracher. Ouais ça faut en arrache. Ouais. Donc ça c'est bon j'ai ce qu'il faut. Oui. En fait tu te retrouves avec un avec un embrayage qui est plus agréable quoi. Tout simplement quoi. Voilà. Okay. Donc là l'avantage c'est comme on vient dans la boîte, on va pouvoir mettre un petit peu de dégraissant. On va surtout pouvoir présenter la pièce neuve avec le nouveau joint. Là, maintenant, il faut qu'on change le joint. 
ça c'est le véritable outil qui va bien. Alors. Et à la fin en fait tu te sers de ton chasse pour pas aller trop loin non plus quoi. La sonorité a changé, on est bon. Ça c'est juste pour être peinard. Alors, c'est du vide ça m'a Non mais comme c'est du monobloc. Ouais. Avec la sangle, ouais. ça ne marque rien. Ouais, c'est clair. Tu salis, tu les crades, ma sangle. Mais euh, t'abîmes rien du tout. Quoi. Ouais. On va remettre le carter du coup, <rire> intermédiaire. Ah, tu vois, mine de rien, ce carter, euh, je pense que t'as tout à fait intérêt de l'enlever. Voilà, ça c'est bon. Ça c'est pareil, quand t'as pas besoin d'en mettre 15 tonnes, mais euh, faut quand même en mettre quoi. C'est pas au prix que ça coûte, hein, la graisse. Hein. Voilà. Donc là je suis bon, là je suis bon. Là-haut j'ai rien qui coince. This video is yet again sponsored by LOF Clutches, so thank you Luke. LOF Clutches is specialized in reinforced clutch kits for Land Rovers and also offers different parts such as this MT82 output shaft kit. If you need further information on their products, do check out their website after watching this video. The link is in the description box below. Now that the install is done, let's talk about the MT82 output shaft on a Land Rover Defender Puma 2.2 or 2.4 TDCI like ours. If you already own one, you might already be aware of this issue. Here's the short story behind the problem. The Ford Puma engine was chosen for the Defender in 2007. To do this, the engineers had to lengthen the MT82 gearbox so it could be assembled with the classic Land Rover LT230 transfer case. However, this extension was poorly designed as it consists of a two-part shaft. The main problem is that it's mounted without grease and it isn't possible to lubricate it without removing the gearbox and the transfer case. As you can imagine, without any greasing, moisture can create rust and a premature wear of the splines, which can give a huge play in the whole driveline. You know it's too late when you hear the loud clicking in the driveline when changing gears, the famous clong or clunking noise. It's even amplified if your drive shaft flanges are worn out. Now, how to fix this issue? Replace the output shaft kits. Some companies like Ashcroft Transmissions are selling a kit to fix this problem for several years now. Concerning ours, we installed the Ashcroft output shaft kit in 2016. This kit is very well thought and very well manufactured. We were very happy with it because it completely stopped those slammings in the transmission until today. The principle of their kit is clearly explained on their website. So why replace it for the LOF Extreme Spec MT82 output shaft kit? Our concern with the Ashcroft part is that there are still two design issues that are not negligible, the O-rings and the special tool needed. First, their part has two O-rings that keep the oil from the gearbox inside of the part. Unfortunately, over time these o-rings will eventually no longer be tight enough and the gearbox oil will start to leak. This is exactly why we made the decision to take everything apart and make sure the problem was there, which was the case for us. We had the second version, the one that has a blue painted aluminum part. Now the one sold by Ashcroft is red. They use different colors only to differentiate the versions. The concept was well thought and the part is well manufactured, 
but if the ceiling fails, you still have to remove everything to replace the two O-rings. And this is a problem because it's a huge work. The second problem in our opinion is that the installation and disassembly of this part requires a special tool. It's a rather bulky metallic tube. You understand that if you're going on a long journey, you'll have to take this special tool just in case. This can be a problem just like most adaptable parts that require a special tool. In fact, this is exactly what happened for this video. That specific tool was at home and not in the vehicle because of its bulky dimensions. My husband forgot to take it and no, the mechanic didn't have one. I drove an hour and a half to bring it to the garage after looking for it for almost two hours in the cellar. Mm. You can understand the problem here. For these reasons, we decided not to go for the third version of the part sold by Ashcroft. Although they have probably corrected some of the flaws, we decided to go for a part built in one piece, the Extreme Spec MT82 output shaft kit from LOF Clutches. The LOF shaft is made as one single solid piece, which eliminates the additional part and minimizes the risk of failure. There's also no possibility of a leak because the gearbox oil no longer communicates with the part at all. In addition, they provide an easy to install small tool for the install and disassembly. For these reasons, we think this modification is the simplest and the most logical of all. It's quite unbelievable that Land Rover didn't think of installing this kind of part from the beginning. Did I tell you LOF Clutches offers a lifetime warranty on that Extreme Spec MT2 output shaft kit? Bam! Now you know. Let me know in the comments below if you had any issue with your MT82 output shaft kit. If you found any useful info in this video, add a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye!